Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new feature in AutoCAD 2022, and that is the count feature. Uh, this is going to allow you to automatically pull counts from various blocks within your drawing, uh, and then we're going to use that and add it to a table where we can automatically calculate the count and number of blocks as well as use a formula within our table to calculate, say, a total cost. This is going to help you guys speed up doing material takeoffs or quantities, and in general, help you keep better track of the blocks you're using in your drawings. Uh, let's take a look. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, this is a new feature only available in AutoCAD 2022. But if you have a subscription, uh, it's a free upgrade and I highly recommend checking it out. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below on where you can download and get this year's new AutoCAD. So to bring up the new command, you're gonna simply type in count and then you can hit enter again to list all of the blocks. You could also choose an individual block to count, uh, but I like this dialog window here in the tool palette. Uh, so you can see right away that it's shown all of the different blocks within your drawing, as well as a count number for each one. By selecting on one, you can highlight them all, uh, showing pretty quickly where they are and where they're used. You can also step through using this count bar up at the top, each individual one and where it is. Uh, when you're finished with that, you can hit the end count check mark here to remove that and stop the highlighting. Uh, so that's a really quick rundown of how the command works. But where it gets interesting is when you right click. So you can expand by various different uh, properties, uh, say scale or height and see the different properties within each block. You can also choose to review count details, which is just going to go back to the highlight as well as let you choose the individual ones. Uh, to go back, you can hit back to list here. So what we're gonna be taking a look at today uh, in detail is the insert count field as well as the count table options. So we're gonna move over to a layout here to try some of these out. So to start, simply inserting the count field is gonna bring in a piece of text that is linked to your uh, block count over here uh, and tied to that block. So you can add text to this. This is just simply an M text field. So we could call this windows. So you, if you needed this in say a legend or in a note section, this would be dynamic and update as you had or removed uh, blocks. So if I say delete this and then come back here and type in regen, you're gonna see my count goes down by one. So this could be really useful and time saving if you're bringing in, say doing landscaping plans and having tree counts for various different tree blocks uh, or window or door counts for architectural plans. Uh, really the use cases for count command are endless. The other cool feature that's available is the ability to create a table containing all of your blocks in it or a select number or select blocks. So to do that, you're gonna type in the count table command. And it's gonna ask you to either enter the names of the blocks you'd like or simply hitting enter will select all of the blocks in this list to the left and show a count for each. So I think this is probably one of the more useful ones. So you can expand on this table. Uh, so I'm just gonna add a few rows and columns to it. So I'm gonna add a column to the right. Uh, and let's say that's cost. And I'm gonna add a column to the right of that. call that total. So this is a super simple, say, quantity takeoff or materials list. Uh, say you've got costs for all of your items. So say the bathtub is 250, a door is 100, bifold doors are 50, 
faucets. 200, sink 100. So these are all just random numbers I've come up with here. They don't really matter. Uh, I probably want to align all of these the same. So here you can then go and create a formula or field that's going to multiply these and you're going to get a dynamic running cost or total for all of your materials in your project. So to add your formula, it's just like Excel, which you're probably familiar with. If not, we'll go through it here. I'm just going to make this a little wider so I've got more space. But within your uh, cell, you simply need to use the equal command and then you can multiply by cell numbers or counts. So I want to multiply B2 times C2, which would be this 2 and the 250 cost, and you're going to get 500. So we can add up here a little bit of formatting. Again, this is just a super simple example, but you can see the power of what's uh, doable now with this count and live kind of field that connects to your blocks. So if I want, I could enter in uh, more of these. Um, so B3 times C3. So you can see how this works. You're going to get a formula very easily and quickly, just like Excel. Uh, hitting enter to confirm it. And you, now you've got a running total. So if we say copy our bathtub over here, so we want to put a bathtub in the middle of the master bedroom because why not? If we go back to our table here and type in regen, you can see the count has updated to three and our cost has gone up by $250. So that's a really quick example and walkthrough of the new count command. I'm sure you guys are going to have questions. I'd love to hear them. And I'm probably going to do some more videos on the options and uh, use cases for this new feature. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below here, as well as hit that like button. Uh, if you guys liked these tips and you want to learn more AutoCAD productivity, workflows, tips, tricks, that kind of thing, uh, I've got a few products, a AutoCAD productivity course and webinar, as well as a new fundamentals and workflows course that has just come out. Uh, you can check out the links to both of those down below, uh, and I think you're going to really enjoy them. As always, thanks for watching and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.